And after the governor signs the measure, no doubt there's going to be some legal challenges to this legislation. News 19's Eleanor Tabone has that part of the story tonight. This is the strongest pro-life legislation in South Carolina history. It's the bill that will ban most abortions across the state. So extreme and so dangerous. Anne Werner from Wren, Women's Rights and Empowerment Network says women have the right to an abortion. The state government needs to stay out of it and leave it up to the people who are most affected by that decision. Women and all people who can get pregnant in this state have the ability the intellectual and the moral ability to make those decisions for themselves. That a heartbeat is the sign of life. Dave Wilson from Palmetto Family Circle says the bill will save lives. There have been more than 531,000 South Carolinians who have lost their lives to abortion since 1970. He's calling it a victory. We don't need to be neglecting the, the life and the needs of the child. Lawmakers are very out of step with the people of South Carolina. Alison Terratio from Planned Parenthood Hood is calling lawmakers antiquated. We can't believe we're having to fight this fight again. The bill requires doctors perform ultrasounds to check for a heartbeat in the fetus. If detected, the abortion can only be performed if the pregnancy was caused by rape or incest. It is absolutely critical that this bill gets passed in South Carolina. The bill really uh, ignores the parameters that were set down by Roe v. Wade and actually ignores fairly established law relating to bodily autonomy in the United States. Legal experts say bills like the one in South Carolina could lead to a challenge in the U.S. Supreme Court. They add it could ultimately lead to the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Susan Dunn from American Civil Liberties Union says the 1973 court decision supports abortion rights. It will be a long time before this case, this bill's challenge would get to the Supreme Court. It's going to initially start in the district court federal district court in South Carolina and the odds are that it that the enforcement of the statute will be stayed. Life is important to us. Most people sitting in the state house making decisions, most of, of whom who have never been pregnant and shouldn't be making those decisions. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX.